Hello and welcome to our CAD clips on creating the ultimate framing plan. In fact, what we're going to do here is we're going to teach you over a series of a, a few very simple um, videos on how you can develop the skills so that you can create your own ultimate uh, framing plan as well as the lessons you're going to learn in this series you will be able to apply to many other things other than framing plans. So this is almost a concept uh, that we're going to teach you and you can use it to create your own ultimate framing plan or you can choose to apply it to something else um, which is equally as valuable to what you do. So I just have um, a small model here with some foundation walls, a stairway and uh, some footings and I just have a um, foundation plan here and I have a section over here and what I'm going to demonstrate here is what happens normally when you go to draw a beam or a framing member structural framing member in Revit architecture or Revit structure this can apply to either one exactly the same and what I'm talking about here is normally when I want to fray, uh, frame say the main floor right the main floor up here I want to frame that from my lower floor in fact I want to see the framing on my lower floor and call that a framing plan so really what I want to do this is a foundation plan and if I just click on here and I look at the um, view range set to this it's nothing new seven foot six four feet zero and a depth of minus two feet to pick up the um, footing walls and then I just used a display override to turn them beyond uh, lines into dashed for that view. So that's a good foundation plan. Nothing fancy going on there. So what I'm going to do is go to this view right here top of footing and right click and duplicate and make a new duplicate. In fact I'll say duplicate with de detailing just in case there's anything on there that I wanted annotation wise. So now I'm going to take my top of footing and close that off and I'll take this new view that I've just created from that and I don't really have to do anything to it I can leave it just the way it is but I probably want to get rid of the footing so I'm going to go into my view range and set this back to be zero and then hit apply that's about all I need to do I can move this up or down but for the most part I believe this is the out of the box settings for view range so that's fine so now what happens is I go to place a beam so I say okay I go to my structural tab unless I'm using Revit structure I go to my home tab I start the beam tool and we have several different structural families you can load in here and we've done some modifications to these so traditionally what happens is this you go in you pick one of your beams okay you set your level here so you'll say well I want it at you know top of main floor and um, from there I don't need to do anything I can say tag if I want um, and now I go to place that beam um, on the main floor but from my lower floor which is really what I want to see so I click on here and I go to here and boom okay couple things happen one is it places the beam where I want it okay and it shows it there two it gives me this warning we've seen a hundred times on you know you're drawing something you can't see so check your parameters visibility settings or maybe a plan region so you hit exit on that you know and you can continue drawing more beams so you can say okay well I'm gonna draw another beam over here it's gonna give me the same warning exit escape escape so the fact is it will allow you to place the beam where you want from the view you want but you can't see it um, and if you go to the uh, main floor by default you're not going to see it either until you do some view range um, settings and you really don't want to start playing with your view range the objective here is that the view range is going to be uh, driven uh, b by something else not by this okay so now what we've done is some changes to our beams so I'm just going to get rid of these guys and we'll show you what the um, modified beams will do. So the modified beams, if we go up here and start with a beam tool, I'm going to go down here to one of my modified ones and pick the uh, Glulam uh, Western species here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set my placement plane to be the main floor. Okay, Justifying it by the top of the beam. And I'm going to go over here to my um, main floor framing which is um, actually my at cut below my main floor and 
um, click in here and place my beam. No errors, no nothing. Okay, the beam goes in the right place, shows up in my foundation plan with a dashed line which is controllable. So I can say, okay, well now I'm going to switch and go to say a wide flange, W12 by 26. Again, I would check to make sure I'm at the right floor level here. This is all out of the box stuff. Click over here, place the beam. If I want to change the elevation of the beam at any time, you can go in and change these endpoints. Okay, so I can zoom in a little bit closer, do another steel beam there, another one across. So anyone who's tried to do framing in Revit before will realize this is a huge breakthrough here. Maybe I want to take this guy, I can even edit and modify this from a lower floor. Look what's happening over here. So effectively, from a foundation plan, I am drawing the framing on the floor above and displaying it and controlling it all inside of there, just like that. If I want to change the beam, I can pick on here and say, no, okay, you know, you are a, uh, um, you know, um, a TJI joist or something like that, and it'll switch that over. Okay, I'm going to just undo that, and it applies to beam systems as well. So now that I have those beams, and, you know, we can frame this any way we want, um, but I'm just going to use uh, um, the inside edge of this to make it go quicker, so I can go to my beam system tool, in Revit architecture or structure. I can go down here and I can specify, you know, which uh, spacing type I want. Maximum spacing of, you know, 19.2 uh, inches and I'm going to use this modified TJI joist. And then all I have to do now is go in here and go click, um, click, maybe change my direction over here. Okay, escape, escape. I forgot to put a beam across here. So what will I use? Well, um, maybe I'll use one of these wood beams. So I'll click on here and say create similar, which is a what I call give me one of these, and then place it like you normally place a beam. It's putting a tag in there for me. Go back to my beam system now. Go in and place my set of beams in there. So there's all my framing going in at the right level, drawn from the view below, creating a true what I would consider framing plan. So uh, we'll teach you how to do these modifications and how to create your own ultimate framing plan.